Hi guys, okay, this is problem two in your homework, and this is where we're looking at what we call a payoff matrix. In this problem, we have two sandwich shops, bread basket and quick lunch, that are looking at uh, trying to develop either a high price or low price strategy, and looking at what their profits would be. So what I've done is I've looked at, well, let's just, come down here. So what we want to do first is we want to determine um, if there is a dominant strategy for either bread bread basket or quick lunch. In other words, if they should they set a high price or should they set a low price and are either one of those two going to be dominant? So how do we determine that? Okay. I have color coded this because this makes it makes it I think easier. So the profits for quick lunch are in red and the the profits for bread basket which are the first it says in the problem that the first um, uh, the first the first entry shows a bread a bread baskets uh, profits and the second entry shows quick lunches profits so I've color coded that here. So this is quick lunch and this is bread basket. So when we want to determine, when we're trying to determine dominant strategy, we're actually comparing the blue with the blue and the red with the red, okay? So we want to look at, well, if, if bread basket chooses a high price strategy, they're either going to get 105 or they're going to get 40, depending on what quick lunch does okay so but we we really want to compare uh, what we really want to compare is for a bread a, a, a bread basket we want to compare vertically in other words we want to say well if quick lunch chooses a high price then what should bread basket do because a quick lunch is going to be here right what should bread basket do? Well, obviously they should choose low price because if bread, if a quick lunch is high price and bread basket chooses high, they both choose high, they're going to be at 105. If quick lunch chooses high and bread, ba bread basket chooses low, they're going to be higher. They're going to be at 120. So, so a bread, a bread basket can say, say to itself, if quick lunch chooses high, we need to go low, okay? But here's the thing. They don't know what quick lunch is going to do. So they have to also uh, take into account what they should do if quick lunch goes low. So if quick lunch goes low over here, well, bre bread a basket can either go high and make 40 or low and make 75. So they, once again, even when quick lunch goes low, they would be better off going low, better than going high. So they're better off than high both here and here, depending on what, and it doesn't matter whether uh, a quick lunch goes high or a quick lunch goes low, bread basket is better off than if going low than going high. 120 is better than 105 and 75 is better than 40. So bread basket, we can say, has a dominant strategy to go low. Now, when we look at quick lunch, we're not comparing it vertically because they're the second entry and they're, they're moving this way. So we're actually comparing 110 with 130 and 80 with 70. In other words, if quick lunch, well, let's just say it that, uh, this way. If, if bread basket goes high, right? If they're here, quick lunch would be better off going low. So we're comparing 130 with 110 with their part of the matrix. So it's not a, a vertical co comparison, it's a horizontal. So if, if bread basket goes high, quick lunch is better off going low because 130 is better than 110. Now, if bread basket goes low, then look, quick lunch is better off going high because 80 is better than 70. So quick lunch doesn't have what we call a dominant strategy because they're, they're going to be 
they're going to need to go low if quick lunch goes high, and they're going to need to go high if quick lunch goes low. I mean, if, if a quick lunch is going to need to go high if bread basket goes low. So they're not re they're not really sure what to do. So because they don't know uh, theoretically, they don't know what bread basket is going to do. So so we can say that quick lunch does not have a dominant strategy. Okay, now. Let's go back. So we've got that answered. Um, so if the two shops do not cooperate on setting prices, what will the profit be for each shop? Well, uh, a bread basket is going to choose a low price. So they're going to be here. And if they choose low, then the best thing for... Um, the best thing, so they're going to have to be here. So uh, a quick lunch does not want to choose low also because if they go, if bread basket goes low, then, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, if, if bread basket is going to choose low, then quick lunch is going to want to choose high because 80 is better than uh, 70. So the profit should be uh, one, 24 uh, bread basket and 80 for a quick lunch. Okay, so let's jump back. Now, what happens if there is a subsidy of $20 to any shop that chooses to set low price, set a low price for its food items? So we want to, what we want to do is we want to add, we want to add $20 to, um, uh, the low price part of the matrix. Let me just shoot this back up here so we can comp compare that. So the high prices, see here, don't change at all. But we're adding 20 here to the low. Okay, boom, boom. So this goes to 140, 80 goes to, it stays the high price that doesn't change at all. Um, 130 low here goes to 150. Uh, the low here for a quick lunch goes let me just yeah goes from a 70 to 90 uh the uh the lows for bread basket here and here go to 140 and 95. the confusing thing about this is you got to be careful a, a, a bread basket is you're uh, looking at it horizontally so it's here and here and for quick lunch you're looking at it vertically so the low prices are are here and here so it's here 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 and here that are going to change so you got to be careful about the how this a matrix is designed okay so um um now what are we asking here so we're asking uh would quick lunch choose to set a high price or a low price explain using specific values from your redrawn matrix okay uh quick lunch is going to choose a uh low price strategy if we think think about it why because quick lunch is is going to be uh either here here or here and here right and if they choose low price, they're going to be better off. So if so if they choose low price, um, they're 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 going to be better off than if they choose high price, right? No matter what. And, and then because because if they choose the low price, they're here, right? So they're either going to be here uh, or here, okay? Depending on what bread basket does so if bread basket picks high then 150 is better than 110 if bread basket picks low then quick lunch is better off with 90 than with 80 so they're better off so now the quick lunch has a dominant strategy to pick low price okay uh what else we got to answer this so um Would the profits for a bread basket increase, decrease, or stay the same? And you want to compare that with uh, your first matrix. Uh, 
So when we look at that, we can see that the breadbasket with this new strategy, since we're since Quick Lunch now has a dominant strategy right here, then breadbasket can no longer use their low price dominant strategy and end up right here because a quick lunch is now going to for sure use a low price strategy. So that's going to force bread basket from 140 where they want to be obviously over to 95 over here because uh, a quick lunch is not going to move over into here. So they're going to stay here. Uh, bread basket's going to go from 120 where their dominant strategy was before the subsidy to having to go along with quick lunch's dominant strategy here and so their profits are going to uh, drop from 120 to 95 so they're going to go from here to here okay so i think that's all there is to this one that is so that's problem number two